What's going on YouTube Nation? Uh, this is my uh, Q's and A's. Uh, I got an email that was a little concerning to me, and this is about a person fa uh, failing the NCLEX for the first time. Fortunately, it does happen to people, so make sure that you guys subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button, and make sure you make some comments to let me know what you think on this video. We're gonna get to the nitty and gritty of this email that I got. It was a little concerning to me with this person, they seem really smart. It's just that they had some obstacles to get in the way and some variables that were a big problem for them. So I'm gonna read this email real quick. Hey GB nurse, I took the NCLEX two days ago in Nebraska and failed with 265 questions. Needless to say, I've been really struggling these past few days. I am the type of person who always tries to find the reason in everything that happens. My assessment said I had a high chance of passing. I did really well in nursing school and scored really high in the NCLEX exit exam. My friends told me I wouldn't pass because they didn't pass and that I wouldn't do well. This really sucks due to not passing for the first time. I've always had high test anxiety my whole nursing school career. I used to uh, be in a quiet room for exams and I guess maybe that is what got me this time. I need the advice because a huge part of me wants to quit, which is strictly in the motion of talking, but I would never be content because taking care of people is what I do. Please advise if you have been in this situation or not. Have your friends been in this situation? I studied a lot. I just didn't make it and it is killing me. If anyone, if anyone that you know or anybody that has study guides that they can use, let me know. Help is much appreciated. I am very depressed right now and I am extremely upset. You know, you seem like a really smart individual. Just by reading this email, I feel really bad for you. One of the videos that I have to prepare for the NCLEX is in my second video. You know, you saying that my friends told me I wouldn't pass because they didn't pass and you have very high anxiety, it seems like that you programmed in your head that you're not going to do well taking this exam. They sound like really shitty friends. So would you really want to be around shitty people like that that give you advice that you're not going to pass and they're not very positive for you? I mean, you didn't say anything in your email that they didn't console you or anything. They just told you you wouldn't pass. So you said that you have high test anxiety. Well, I mean, test outs, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I do. I mean, everybody does, but you gotta have ways to mentally prepare to take these exams, and that's why I made these videos. So make sure that you guys uh, hit videos, uh, the videos in the description below. It'll help you mentally prepare for the NCLEX. My second video is something that you might really like in this situation. And it was talking about getting rid of toxic people. So make sure you click that video in the description below. You know, I've had friends uh, that failed the NCLEX. This is before I was uh, in nursing school and taking prereqs. One of my buddies, he failed the NCLEX for the first time. He's kind of like this situation, except people didn't tell him that he's gonna fail right away. He's a really smart dude. He's a uh, nurse practitioner right now. And actually him failing the NCLEX was a blessing because he had a job that he really couldn't say no to. I mean, making about $70,000 for your first year, that's pretty nice. So I just wanna let you know, you know, it does happen to people. And, um, you know, you gotta find ways, you gotta get rid of the common denominator right here. I mean, I, I see issues with your friends being pretty shitty. I mean, I, I wouldn't wanna be around those people. I and I'm sure you don't want to be around them, but you get you got to take the effort to get rid of these people or at least keep them out of the way until you finish the NCLEX and complete the NCLEX. I mean, they're telling you right away that you're going to fail. So a lot of people that have high anxiety, they're going to program in their head that they're in bad shape the moment they go in there. So usually the first 15 minutes when you take an exam, you kind of know... Uh, Oh my God, or you're like, oh yeah, this is, this is good. So that's something that you need to look into. And I would love for you to send me an email back when you pass the NCLEX. I think you will do it. 
looks like you went to uh, a really good school in Nebraska, so you're a really smart individual. So I'm not too worried about you, uh, you know, with your uh, intelligence. I'm not worried about that. It just seems like you have a little, you're a little high strung and have some anxiety. So, you know, that happened to a few of my friends, very smart nurses, high strung, failed the first time. You know, some of them were in um, bad relationships or, you know, just uh, bad situations. And, you know, eliminating toxic people really helps to get rid of situations like this. This will save you about $270 for taking the exam too, because unfortunately if you fail, you gotta pay it again. But again, you have more opportunities to take the exam. This is not like nursing school where you, if you fail twice, you're gone. So this is the nice opportunity, and you completed the hardest part, which was to get in, hardest parts, to get into nursing school and to complete nursing school. So just don't forget, a lot of these NCLEX questions that they gave in school are harder than the NCLEX. So just a little high strung, uh, just try to uh, drink maybe a little bit of caffeine. I did a review on caffeine as well, and the benefits of black coffee. So that might help you with the exam. And maybe try chewing gum when you're taking the exam. I'm not sure if they allow that or not, but try that. Sometimes that'll help uh, decrease in anxiety. They've shown in some research articles that taking coffee, I'm ugh, chewing gum and uh, drinking coffee will help you in exams. I, I chew gum definitely uh, during organic chemistry one and two before I became a nurse. I was chewing gum like crazy taking the exam. So I still think organic chemistry one and two was tougher than nursing school. So um, it, it's all about the mental preparation. So again, subscribe to my channel. Make sure that you hit the bell button. Make sure you comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, make sure you watch some of my other videos. You know, these videos are for you guys to help you out. And I hope you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend. All right, have a good one.